Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Yacht Brokers and I'm on board this 1981 Moody 29 for a virtual reality tour of her interior. So what does that mean to you? Well that means that all you need to do is click and drag or swipe your screen up, down, left or right and you can look where you like, when you like, without having to look where I'm looking. And we hope this really great feature will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Um, some people do report sensitivity to the camera moving, so when I'm going to move the camera I will let you know and then once the camera is safely back down I'll let you know again and you can return to the tour with me, but let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are, how am I feeling? Well, I'm a Moody 29 owner, I'm a Moody 29 fan, these are fantastic boats. This is probably the best one I've seen. Now, um, let's start with the all important head height test. I'm five foot nine, so it's probably about uh, just under six feet there, perhaps uh, five foot 11 maybe. Um, but uh, all the way around this boat, I'm feeling space, I'm feeling light, I'm feeling bright, I'm feeling airy, and uh, it is really just a very nice place to be. You're sitting on the uh, on the engine cover, so really good access to the engine from the forward end if you need to. Uh, you can get to the, the aft end as well very easily. Very nice and easy companion way to come down. We've got a grab handle this side, we've got two pillars this side. Although once you go forwards a little bit, it's a bit of a case of grabbing onto other fiddles as you go forwards in a bit of a blow. But uh, all in all, uh, in the main area of the boat where you're going to be operating a sea, so the, the galley, and the uh, the nav station feeling very very secure and you can really brace yourselves in in both areas too but um yeah generally speaking we've got uh, sofas down both ends nice and long we've got uh, water tanks port and starboard we've got some storage under here under here under here and under here nice deep storage the starboard berth does convert into a double if you just pull the base out there Really, really handy. I speak through experience. Um, we've got storage here and here and here. Really nice, deeply fiddled uh, shelves uh, and another one here too. Really handy cupboard here. Uh, for that, this one, this boat has safety gear. Mine has wine glasses. <laughs> but uh, there you go. And uh, pretty much a mirror on the port side. Uh, water tank, as I mentioned. Nice storage here. Nice storage underneath here too. Another cupboard here. Uh, safety gear on this boat. Wine cupboard on my boat. Um, and uh, the same here. We've got uh, lots of uh, fiddle storage here. So these boats are crammed with storage. Trust me. Really nice windows on this boat. We've got curtains too. Headlining looks good as well, so generally feeling really well looked after, and we do happen to know that this boat has been very, very well looked after, the best. But uh, as we come down the galley, let's uh, take you uh, to a, a turn to the starboard. Sorry, as we come down the companionway, as we turn to starboard, I'll place you uh, in the uh, into the. Uh, starboard aft quarter where we've got a really really nice long berth here nice and wide always a debate about whether this is a single or a tiny double or a one and a half i'll leave it up to you to decide but i speak from experience when uh, when i say that sleeping in here is a pleasure there's certainly lots of room for one person to roll around in no problem got a bit of uh, light and ventilation from the uh, from the window there plenty of headroom while you're in here so you're not speak you're not feeling uh, uh claustrophobic shelves along the starboard side which lead to the forward-facing chart table with, with the, basically the seating on the bed. Uh, storage for your charts inside, a decent sized table. We've got AIS, we've got uh, GPS, we've got VHF, we've got the electric panel, uh, bilge pump switch, all that stuff here, all uh, to give you the ability to drive or navigate the boat round in relative safety. Very nice indeed. And really good, well within uh, shouting, uh, shouting distance to the home as well. So uh, great stuff there. Now, let's pick you up. And I'll just take you athwart ships to the other side of the boat and place you down there. You're safe again. Right, now you're in the galley. And as you can see, really great for, I mean, you can stand here and make cups of tea and just pass them out or get the empties back in without even moving. You've got something to brace onto. If you come in here, you've got something to brace onto. You don't want to brace onto the cooker for obvious reasons, but really, really nice and safe feeling. L-shaped, we've got the uh, probably the original cooker here, the Flavel unit. So we've got an oven, grill, uh, two burners there as well. And uh, we've got sink, aft and a cool box which is non-powered uh, on the outboard side there. All around the galley we've got more storage, yet more storage. We've got uh, dedicated storages for plates, saucers, um, oven mitts etc. Cups and a nice slider cupboard aft for other bits and pieces. There we go. So, um, really nice galley. It is small, it is cramped, but it's useful. It's big enough for a boat of this size and it is really, really um, 
secure feeling once you're using it and you've got the hang of it. So uh, yeah, very good. Oh, more storage underneath there I should mention. Oh, and under the, under the oven too. So let's pick you up again and I will take you um, forwards into the head. Here we go. I'll just close the door on that so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So you're with me in the heads. A thwart chips, full width. Um, we've got a massive cupboard underneath here with shelves as well. Lovely. A great big cupboard under here with two shelves, although you can't see in from where you are. Um, lots of storage. Nice work surface. Quite a small sink on this boat. I think this is aftermarket. Um, but generally speaking, once you've got this door closed and this door closed, you've got all that distance across the compartment. So it's feeling not claustrophobic in here. Now, if I just uh, open the uh, open this, sorry, close this door to the forward cabin, and you can see very clearly now we've got the head here, which is an electric flush. Nice touch on this boat. So um, always really, really nice and handy. Um, and behind there, on the starboard side, we've got the hanging locker there. It's lots of space for uh, Fowleys, um, life jackets, boots, all that kind of stuff. Very good. But two windows shared a little bit with this saloon, but uh, lots of light in here. We've got uh, we've got an, an electric light in here as well, and also plenty of headroom as well. So I'm um, feeling quite nice and uh, big. Nice hanging rail there as well, just over the heads. Anyway, let's uh, just close this door, place it back. I can manage it on the film, there we go. And I'll just pick you up and take you forwards into the forward cabin, there we go. So you are in the forward cabin of this Moody 29. Now the, the headlining does slope down as you can see, because this is the front of the coach roof. But you've got a really nice sized cabin here, plenty of room for two adults for a weekend or longer. And I speak from experience. Um, we've got uh, a berth starboard, a berth port, we've got a big infill here, so uh, we've got a nice big double bed and uh, the front of the bed doesn't narrow down into a point so you're not fighting for toe space and obviously when this infill comes out we've got lots of room to sit and pull on your wellies etc etc. Lots of storage around the uh, periphery of the compartment, um, we've got access to the anchor locker just in case you get a wrap on that chain and then underneath all of these cushions here, loads of storage, really big, deep storages for all sorts of things that you could imagine putting down there in bin bags as we do. So, uh, nice area, great to spend a weekend in, and if you get it a bit warm, then uh, you've got the hatch above you which you can open up, let more, uh, more air in. Okay then, let's pick you up and we'll finish off by going back to the saloon. If I can just get the door open with one hand. <laughs> there we go. And um, I should mention uh, what I didn't mention before was the amazing feature on these boats is the, the, the saloon table. This folds down, which I'll just give you a brief demo of. This folds down and out, it gives you an absolutely massive saloon table. Room for eating for four to six people around there. And then once it's up, obviously you've got all of this space for discoing and partying and doing, doing all those bits and pieces that you want to do. So I hope that's given you a really good idea what it's like to be on this boat. Um, she's light, she's bright, she's airy, she's looking great, she smells fine, and um, she is probably definitely the best Moody 29 that I've seen, and we have been through or sold a lot of Moody 29. So if you're after one of these boats, she's not one to miss. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like any more information, just go to boatshed.com. But uh, do keep watching the rest of our channel for vi videos and reviews as we are posting them all the time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.